<coughs> tubers. <coughs> I'm reshooting the intro to this video. Because <coughs> I was just too damn worked up at the start of this project. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So. <coughs> <laughs> wow, so here we are. Hey, working on the Tundra today. And uh, making progress. Pretty happy with it. Pretty happy. So today's project, um, after the last round with the car dealership and my truck getting the clap, I've decided I'm going to try to do more myself. And since this didn't involve pulling the transmission or something too big or heavy... I'm doing it and what I'm doing is changing the seal at the end of the transmission where the drive shaft slips in and then at the same time I have noticed that the boot the whatever the carrier bearing is in the middle of my two-piece drive shaft that uh, carry that bearing the rubber is kind of well it's it's ripping in spots it's dying so I've already replaced the seal. All right, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I am back. I am back, I am back. The nice thing is, even if you damage it a little pulling on it, it's gonna come out anyways. <laughs> Trying to feel my edge hooking on something, but it doesn't seem to want to be hooking. Sure, I might be moving it, but I really can't tell. Now, you should never work it from the outside edge. You've always got to be just hooking that inner lip and pulling. That is the only way to safely ensure that you get it off. And just work your friggin' way around, hooking and pulling, because you've uh, you got to get it off. just does not want to come out oh and probably all you can see is the back of my head well we're done okay I got the seal out it was hell but uh, it just popped free BAM it took a little beating pulling Okay, but when you get your seal out, the next thing to check is make sure that you've got no 
scratches or grooves or you did not damage this inner surface which mine feels fine if you did that you got a problem <sighs> I can't help you okay now put the new seal in the next step is you've got to install your bearing or seal or whatever the hell we're doing here a little transmission fluid around the outside helps or grease set it in squarely and then what you will use is something like this to drive it in flat now when I'm hitting the back of that I like to use a little piece of a 2x4 because it's much more solid square than trying to tap it with a hammer but I can't film it and do it at the same time because I'm not that talented so I'll be back and it looks it's about the same recess as the other one so I'm gonna call that a good job okay here's what that seal looked like when it came out I had to deform it some and uh, see this inner wire got torn out of it so when you do this just make sure you get it all out the tool was not too bad it did the job and it didn't damage anything